Yo, listen up. Huh? Like the video right now for a free cheeseburger. Okay, this is not a drill. The second you like the video, you'll get one for absolutely free. Hello, students. Today I'm walking and I have this shirt on that says vegan granny. Wow, uh, nice shirt. I actually don't care. Hello, people. Welcome back to another episode of Vegan Cringe. So, it's been a Big Mac. <laughs> See what I did there? A Big Mac. It's been a Big Mac since I talked about that vegan teacher on the channel. I think the last time I talked about her was whenever she was getting banned off of TikTok. And that was something around like four months ago now. Almost a half of a year. The last video I made on her was about her TikTok getting banned and... And whenever that happened, I was like, all right, vegan teacher's over. It's all done. But then she went and made a YouTube channel and I just never really covered it. But today on a whim, totally not by uh, seeing someone else get a lot of views off of that vegan teacher. Uh, on a whim, I decided to come onto the channel today and talk about that vegan teacher once again. And today we're going to be watching a video that to say the least, that vegan teacher probably shouldn't want you to watch. But for some weird reason, she still uploaded it to her YouTube channel for everyone in the world to see. Today I'm walking and I have this shirt on that says vegan granny. The reason I do that is because I want everybody to know that I'm a vegan granny, first of all. All right, I'm sorry for stopping it so early, but I, I just gotta say, you don't really need the shirt to uh, show everybody that you're a vegan granny. I just think that, you know, if people look at you, that that's just kind of a given. Nobody's gonna look at your vegan granny shirt and be like, oh, I had no idea that she was a vegan granny. Like, it's quite obvious. Come on now. And if they are a grandmother, they can come and talk to me. And if they are... Uh, vegan they can come and talk to me and it makes a great conversation piece it's also another click to people who are walking by who might never think about the veganism and then they're like hey i just saw a vegan granny today they might say to somebody or they might see later on a pamphlet they might see a book they might see a documentary as they're flicking through on netflix so that's why it's really important to keep wearing any kind of symbols about veganism so that you can start a conversation with people yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on that one. Definitely not gonna be wearing any symbols about veganism. You know, starting to think about it, I might actually have to buy myself a McDonald's shirt just to wear, so then people can get those clicks that that vegan teacher is always talking about. Click to people. So then who knows, maybe people will go get a McDonald's pamphlet or something, and they'll think to themselves, hey, you know, I kind of want a cheeseburger right now. I think I'll treat myself to one. Now, in reality, I have no reason to wear a McDonald's donald shirt to try to spread the message of eating cheeseburgers i actually really don't care what people eat uh, i just don't but what i do care about is whenever people like that vegan teacher go and just push the hell out of a message like this onto people that really don't care about it like you can sit there and be vegan whatever whenever you're doing stuff like this uh you know borderline brainwashing people to be vegan then that's you know a little bit much now i just walked by a lady and we made eye contact with each other and on her shirt it said th five letters it said vacay I guess that's short for vacation so as we made eye contact with each other do you think I felt like I needed to say anything to her at all what can I possibly say to her her main message in the world on her billboard right here this is a free opportunity to give any kind of a message to people. Her message is to talk about vacation. All right, my question here is why is that vegan teacher going so in depth about some random stranger's shirt? Why does she care that much about what someone else is wearing? You know, she said it's like a billboard or whatever to put whatever message. If somebody wants to wear a shirt that says vacation, then once again, th that's like their choice. They can wear whatever. People don't usually try to spread messages with their shirts. You know, it's a thing that you could do. You can wear shirts that spread messages, but you could also just wear shirts that say whatever on it for any reason at all it's up to you you're the person wearing the shirt nobody can stop you from wearing that shirt her message is to talk about vacation not even a commentary about it like make sure you have an environmentally friendly vacation it's not that or make sure that during your vacation you uh, go to an animal sanctuary to help the animals it wasn't that it was just the words 
vacay. I just don't understand why that vegan teacher cares so much about this person's shirt just saying vacation on it. Like, whoop de doo It says a word. Do you want her to have a whole essay about veganism written on her shirt? Should every single human being on planet Earth be wearing a shirt that says something about veganism just because you say so? No, I don't think so. Actually, not even think. I, I just know that people can wear what they want and it's their choice. So why do you think a grown adult woman would wear- Bella, we gotta go, there's- look, there's poison ivy here. Oh, you're having to poop, okay. Sorry. Very important stuff for the vlog guys. You know that vegan teacher never considers cutting anything out of her videos It's just one raw clip. We get to see absolutely everything even her vegan dog taking a shit Yeah, uh, thanks for that. Honestly, I I'm surprised that her dog could even go to the bathroom anymore All she feeds her dog at this point is leaves and lettuce like that's it dogs need protein dude They, they do they're literally carnivores and forcing your dog to be vegan isn't okay at all, in my opinion. So why do you think that somebody would want to wear a shirt that says vacay on it? Like, what is the point? It's so strange. You know, I live in a, it's not a poor neighborhood. It's not like that's the only shirt she could ever find. I mean, it's impossible. This woman, this middle-aged woman, made a deliberate choice to wake up today and to and try and do this all right, we gotta stay here, sweetie, because I gotta pick up your poop and continue the video. Hold on. To, she made a deliberate choice to try to- Top tier content right here, guys. It's a vlog where a vegan grandma picks up dog shit and vlogs the whole thing. You know, this is just uh, honestly pretty disgusting at this point. Turn off the camera, turn it back on, and start recording once you're done doing this shit, all right? Nobody, and I mean nobody, wants to see this. Also, I find it just baffling how that vegan teacher is still going on about this stranger shirt. Like, how is it actually getting to her that much about what somebody was wearing? Like, how? How? It's a shirt. I never pay attention to what a random stranger on the side of the road is wearing on their shirt. You know, maybe I'll take a glance about it. I'll think about it for a split second, but that's about it. You know, I don't sit there and think, why is this person wearing a shirt that says MILFs are hot? Why, why are they wearing that? You know, maybe I'll just laugh at it. I won't get upset about it or question it or vlog about it. No, that, that's not important at all. I, I could give less than a crap, dude. Seriously. The most important thing was to tell the people in her circles and who she meets on the street the word vacay <sighs> I don't know so you might be asking what do you care right? what do I care okay maybe I shouldn't care but sorry the phone's bumping all over the place but you know what I think we should care I think we should what we need is we need a world that is going to be a little bit less shallow we shouldn't be wearing symbols on our clothing that say things like Gap or Adidas or Nike or whatever if you have a shirt like that like that woman who has the shirt that says vacay on it. Now think about your own wardrobe right now, right? So what you do is this. You go and get some paint, some like a little jar, or maybe you have something left over in the basement. Doesn't really matter what color. And you just take a Kleenex and you blot it inside the paint and you blot it around on the front of your shirt to make a square, a square-ish thing. Now see here, I've, I've gone overboard a bit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. So you blot out your other message. So if it says vacay or whatever other name brand. Dude, what does this lady one out of people at this point. She's really saying, I think everybody should paint a box on their shirt and put a message on it instead of just wearing brand clothes. What? L literally, what are you talking about? You know what I think? I think that people are entitled to wear whatever kinds of clothes that they want. And I also think that people shouldn't care about the clothes that other people are wearing and just leave each person be, you know, to themselves. It's whatever. I mean, at this point, I really don't know what that vegan teacher is going on about. Somehow she has gone five minutes straight talking about how people shouldn't be wearing shirts or in specific shirts that don't spread a good message. You know, I'm sorry that I just want to wear something casual that's not over the top or anything to you know, not get as many eyes as possible drawn to me in a public spot because I, I don't like that. You know, sorry that my great, great, great grandmother wears a blue and white striped sweater all the time. Yeah, my apologies, that vegan teacher. I'll make sure that we, uh, you know, just write uh, a message on the shirts. Like, what are you talking about right now? Actually, you know, this is too much stupid for me today. Shout out to my channel members, Ace Woman and Ace for being the Patrick Tier and 
silly string and mr doctor 73 for being in the spongebob tier if you guys want to see some more videos just like this one just click one of the thingies up on the screen and uh yeah bye